Hello gorgeous and welcome to today's video. So for today's video it's going to be kind of a two part mashup we'll call it. Um, I've been really inspired by the YouTube world. I know a lot of makeup artists are doing makeup declutters and I thought to myself you have a lot of makeup that most of it is stuff that I don't even use anymore so why bother keeping it? So. That's what today's video is going to be about. I'm going to go through all the makeup that I'm getting rid of. I've literally got gone through every single thing and gotten rid of everything that I just don't use or like that don't work for my skin or whatever. Not that they're necessarily bad, but they just don't work for me. So instead of them sitting there and expiring, I'd rather, you know, a friend of mine or whoever actually use them rather than them just go to waste. And the reason why this is a two-part video is while I was going through my makeup, I noticed that I had a lot of duplicates and, you know, sample sizes of stuff and all this other stuff that I noticed wasn't even open. So I thought, why not add all of this stuff to my giveaway bin, which is usually up here, which is missing. And so I'm also going to be showing you guys what is inside my giveaway bin because I know a lot of you have seen... I've been posting a lot of um, like, you know, like pictures to get you guys all hyped up for a giveaway and I just want to go through everything and show you guys what I put in there and yeah. So I also really want um, a giveaway to be held at the end of this video but I want to hear from you guys what you want in the giveaway. I mean like I have a bunch of stuff here so tell me what you would like to win if you were to win. Um, yeah, because there is so much stuff in here and I'm running out of ideas for you guys. I really don't know what I should put in there anymore because I feel like I've been putting a lot of stuff that I really like, but I want to hear from you guys. So tell me if you could win a giveaway, what you would like from my giveaway bin. So first off, we're going to start with the declutter bin. So the difference between the de declutter and the giveaway is the de clutter stuff is all stuff that I've used or I feel like isn't good enough to give to you guys. Like I know there's a couple things in here that I've just heard are crappy so I don't want to give you guys crap. I don't think that's fair. So yeah that's why it'll be staying in here and either going in the garbage or if they're good and they've just been used I'll just give them to a friend of mine and something like that. So first off I see two setting sprays. This is one by Essence and this is one by Hard Candy. This one I heard sucks so it's just gonna go in the garbage. And this one from Essence, it's like super mattifying and I just didn't like it. So it's just going because there's no point in it just sitting here. I have a couple brushes here. I know this one's from Tarte. This is a foundation brush and it wasn't bad and it's really cool because there's a spatula at the end of it but the brushes are, or the bristles are just too long and I'm just not a fan. Um, this one from Tarte is just damaged and I don't, I really never used it. This one's damaged, this one just sucked. This MAC brush is just never been used and, well obviously it has been used because it's been in here but just not one of my favorites so it's going. And this one, if you don't know, I hate double-ended brushes because all my brushes go in like a container, like a stand. So then you gotta pick like which end of the brush is gonna get damaged, so that's always fun. So that one's going too. Um, there's a few eyeshadows in here. Like this brand is Gosh. I, I don't even think it exists anymore. This I think was from Shoppers and it doesn't even exist, I'm pretty sure. So these are going because they suck. Um, this one I was just keeping. I don't even know where I got it, but I was just keeping because of that silver shade. I will show you it is so pretty but I literally like look at that one swipe so pretty but I use silver like once a year so I'm not keeping this just to use once a year plus I'm pretty sure it's extremely expired so it can go um I see some eye oh no this is a lip stuff this is a lip crayon thing from NARS and I just I don't wear red and as you can see all this is lip stuff plus all this and lord knows we are not getting rid of any of the jeffree star stuff and all of these are literally so full that i like can't even open the drawers so i figured it was probably time to get rid of some lip stuff especially red because i just never use it and then <laughs> this has been in here for a long time this is some blue mascara from hard candy i don't even know if i've ever used it but it's like ancient and dried up so it can go um 
this NYX pencil. It's super old and yeah, I don't even, we're just not even going to go there. I know there's a bunch of highlighters, like from, don't mind me, I'm just breaking shit here. Um, there's a bunch of highlighters from NYX. These were the duochrome ones. I just wasn't really a fan, which I don't know why I bought two, but apparently I did. And yeah, so these ones are going. The master highlight from Maybelline, this one was in shade 050 and their other ones are stunning and this one when you feel it feels stunning and then you see like this chalky mess and then I'll try and swatch it for you guys it's just like glittery chunk and it's just it, yeah no it, okay well this doesn't look that bad on camera but it's a no so it's going um I have two of the color tattoo I went blind there for a second um color tattoo eyeshadows and i have like a white one and a silver one and they are so old like these have to be five six years old if not more so they're they're going um i have a few highlighters from this one's from hard candy which actually isn't bad but i need to downsize my highlighter collection so it's going um this one from wet n wild i have a tart one that i prefer more so i'm keeping that one this one from Hard Candy, I don't know if you can tell, but there's like three, oh yeah, you can tell. There's like three different colors, and it's just not my cup of tea, so it's going. Um, there's a shadow pencil thing that's like broken. That's going. This is super old. This is from Maybelline. It's like a brow gel or whatever. It's super old, so it's going. And finally, I think this is the last item. This was really hard to give away because, or not give away, but just to put in this bin because I paid a pretty penny for it. And it is good, but the reason I have to part with it is because it doesn't work for my skin tone. Like, I'm way too fair to use this. And I was going to put it in my makeup kit when I do, you know, weddings and stuff like that, but I prefer other stuff over this for my clients, so... I just figured like it's just gonna sit there so it had to go this is the Tarte contour palette number three and like it's beautiful but like these colors especially this one just look like mud and I mean the blush worked really good but I'm not gonna keep this whole palette just for blush because that doesn't make sense so that is all the products I have something in my eye cool anyway that's all the products that are you know, going to be donated or stuff like that. I know that contour palette, my sister might really enjoy it because she's a lot darker than I am. So it might work really well for her, but for me, it does not. So I'll have to pass. One side note that I just want to throw out there. I'm bragging because I, I want to feel good about myself, even though I probably shouldn't. The last time I ordered from Sephora, which I do 24-7, um they told me that i hit my rouge status again for two years in a row and every time i shouldn't say every time because it's only the second time but the last time i felt the same way too when they tell me like oh congratulations i get so excited and then i think to myself like you've literally spent a grand within a year on makeup not sure it's something to be proud of but i'm proud of it anyway because this year last year i think i still I got like this it's in this cute little thing I have like a double of it so that's why this is packaged because I actually do use the brush but um it came with like a little foundation brush or something like that and it's really good but this year you get like this full-on clutch like it's so pretty so I was proud of myself like go me you spend that kind of money and like look at this thing like it's so pretty you get points for spending money so it's not all bad <laughs> so that was my little side note but um trying to make myself feel better about spending this kind of money but you know anyway so back to the declutter um the rest of the stuff that i'll be showing is all stuff that's going to be in the giveaway so just a reminder again for a future giveaway hint hint um i'm going to be showing you guys every single thing i have in my giveaway bin so for the giveaway i want you guys to say if you were to win i would like to receive a blank and it could be like multiple stuff not just one like i don't want you to be like just pick one item like it can be like 
I would like to win one of these and one of that and one of this. Like, just tell me, be honest, what you would love to win. So I'm not going to go through every individual one because we'll be here like all day. But I have like a bunch. I'm going to take a couple out because there's a lot. Right here, I'll just show you. There's a bunch of like deluxe samples. There's a bunch of like mini samples that I have. There's a really nice surprise in here. This is the Galaxy Palette from Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. Um, I'm not going to lie. I did swatch this, but I just swatched the one color and it just wasn't for me like i got this as a gift and yeah like i just i don't like it so there's only been one color that's been swatched and rather than it just like i said sit there go to waste i really want one of you guys to have it so this went in the giveaway bin okay so for the rest of the products there's this bag this sephora bag and there's a bunch of stuff in there like there's a sephora sponge a mirror a bunch of samples a lip gloss um like brow stencils there's a bunch of stuff from it's all like sephora stuff in here so that's one thing and then there's this cute little bag from tarte which i actually this is a double of um but really good bags like really good quality and there's these cute little makeup bags too and then this little mini one so that's all for the bags and next we'll do these i have these two face mask things and yeah they're really really good face masks and then i have this um pride that i got i'm pretty sure i got this as a gift but i already have all this stuff like a lot of this stuff is doubles which is so sad but I don't need doubles. I want to try new products. I don't want to keep using the same thing. I want to mix it up. So one of you guys can get that full thing. Come here. Oh yeah, okay. Nala's being camera shy. She's all rubbing up on my leg and then I go to pick her up and she runs away. I'm nervous with her. Um, okay, so I have some brushes. So this is a powder brush from Tarte. This bitch was like $50. So this is a really good price, but I just never used it. I prefer my Morphe brushes. Um, this is a cute little blending brush, a unicorn fan brush. And then this one, I just, again, I prefer my Morphe brushes. If I can open it, I might not even open this thing. Oh, there we go. Um, this is a Kat Von D shade, well, it's a contour and shade brush or something. Shade and light brush, that's what it's called. And it comes in like this super cute little coffin type thing. And then this is the brush. So this is really good too. Um, I know I used to have a brush like this and I don't know what happened to it. They're not bad, but like I said, I don't like double-ended brushes and I prefer my Morphe ones. So that's going too. Um, oh, this is a really good prize, like really good. This is a Jeffree Star Cosmetic Lip Ammunition in Celebrity Skin. And as you can see, I do have an obsession and I'm not afraid, well, obsession i'm not afraid to admit it but this i thought was kind of sad because i remember he was having a sale i think this was like last summer already and i ordered this lip ammo in celebrity skin and then i got it and i was wearing it and i thought to myself like i feel like i have this one already sure enough i think this, this is the one yeah sure enough i look in my collection i have the exact same one sitting on my vanity already in the box like all still in the box I should say so I just swapped them out and like that's when you know you have an addiction and a problem when you can't even remember if you have that shade or not so this is a double so this is gonna be going but this alone is like $18 US I think so whatever that is Canadian I don't know something it, it's a lot of money for a lipstick we'll put it that way um, but for lipsticks, I have a shit ton, like a shit ton. So I did downsize quite a bit, which is good, but I still need to because I can't open the top drawer. So that's a problem, but whatever. We'll figure that problem out later. Um, but yeah, I have like this little mini tart, touch and salt, metalist liquid foil lipstick duo. I don't know what that is. Um, this tart lipstick. Smashbox. Uh, oh, this. Oh, these are so cute. This is. I don't know if you can. Okay, well, you can kind of see. This actually came with. 
this little bear up here this is the Moschino and Sephora collection these are two mini lip glosses that I just I don't like the colors of like they're super pretty but just not a fan um, I have some ColourPop this one is an ultra gloss lip and then oh they both are they're both glossy so these two are from ColourPop um, I have an Essence one a Benefit one this is actually a full-size product but I had a double of it and I don't need to so yeah this is a full-size product this isn't a sample we'll see with the ColourPop ones too I should say um, and then there's some Kat Von D uh, makeup forever and then uh, Too Faced Melted Matte which I have the full size in this and it's super pretty I love them so I think oh and last lip product a Marc Jacobs little mini in kiss kiss bang bang <laughs> so that I actually think I have a full size two or something like it I don't know but Marc Jacobs lipsticks are really good so that's all for the lip products and I'll show I know I have a couple of primers like I have the Smashbox photo finish primer in light and this is like a little mini size not even a sample size it's a mini size I remember buying this one then coming home and realizing I already had it so there's that <laughs> this is the mini size of the professional from benefit really good uh, this is a sample of the Too Faced primed and peachy this is like their newer ish um, primers and it's really good too Wow, okay, I still have a lot of stuff here. Um, this is a Tarte bronzer that's really good. Um, the Benefit Hula, which I have the full size of, and I freaking love it. I actually have two minis, but one of them's in my purse, like the one that I carry with me. So, yeah, this one will be going. Makeup Forever Blush, uh, Smashbox Duo Eyeshadow, which are super pretty. Um, Too Faced. 3-in-1 Hangover RX uh, setting spray, you know, like a cute little mini thing. This I have like a million of and they are so good. This is the Marc Jacobs, like the gel liner in black. So good. I swear by those. Um, I have a bunch of mini Tarte blushes just because I have like the blush book and I don't need a bunch of singles. I have the Hoola Quickie Contour Stick, the What's Up Benefit Light. Or highlighter um, I have a full elf powder which isn't bad I can't remember if it flashes back I know in my early makeup um, artist days I use this but I don't remember if it flashes back I don't think so but I know my sister really likes it and it's it, it is really good I just the flashback I'm not sure of these are just two that don't work for me this is the bare mineral it, huh, I'm so tired it's not even funny the bare minerals mineral veil this one doesn't work for me and the Tarte smooth operator setting spray that one also doesn't work for me so they're just going they're just sample size anyway and then this is the I don't even know how to say that but it's some mini brow pencil so it's a cute little thing like that and lastly we have <laughs> this too I probably could have got rid of a lot more but even though my skin isn't that great, I love trying new face products. Like, that is my biggest obsession. And so I literally have a full bin of face products and I got rid of, like, that much. Could have got rid of more, but these are just some stuff, like, creams I can't use because I'm super oily. And I don't know if I've said this on my channel before, but if you're super oily, you want to use gel moisturizers because they don't have oil in them versus creams do. So that's why I stray away from creams because I don't want more oil on my already oily skin. So a lot of these that I'm getting rid of are creams that just don't work for me. I know there's this scrub, this almond face polish. It is really good and at first I really loved it. I wasn't crazy about the smell but it was really good and then my face broke out. So my face doesn't like this stuff. Um, this is an anti-aging cleansing gel from Peter Thomas Roth. I've heard really good things about this but I have a ton of anti-aging stuff and I don't need another one so yeah and then this one is a wrinkle resistant eye cream some radiance serum that I've heard is really good um, this one is so moisturizing cream there's one two three <laughs> 
and four. So there's four moisturizing creams that I just can't use because my skin's going to hate me if I do. Um, this I was debating on getting rid of, but then I was like, Brittany, you have enough stuff. You don't need this. But this is the Fresh Sugar Lip Caramel Hydrating Balm. And it literally, like, you know how you see stuff and it's like, oh, it's lemon flavored or this flavor. And it's like, hey, but is it really? And then you smell it and it's like a super gross, like, scent that doesn't even smell what it's supposed to be like. That's what I thought with this. But it is actually, like, caramel. Like, you smell it and it's, like, full-on caramel. It is so yummy smelling, but... I have enough stuff so I should probably just get rid of it and then I have oh another cream shocker <laughs> and then my last two products I remember talking about this in my empties video I think this is the Tarte Maracuja oil this is just a mini version it is really good especially if you have dry skin or aging skin it is awesome and oily it can be awesome but I prefer it for like my cuticles or my hair or stuff like that but still really good stuff and then lastly I haven't filmed this video yet but I really want to I want to film all like my beauty favorites or like my skincare favorites something like that and this would 110% be in it I remember one of my first for sure my top five um, Sephora purchases was the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea deep dive cleansing gel this is just the mini version that's now on the floor <laughs> but it's just gel that I use after I wipe off all my makeup in the shower I like scrub my face with that it is so good like I've never had cleansing gel that is that good like I will forever swear by that stuff so yeah that's one thing that I absolutely love and you could possibly try it if you win this giveaway <laughs> so I think I'm looking around I I think that is it for the declutter and the giveaway bin. So yes, I hope you guys enjoy. And once again, not trying to sound like a broken record here, but I want you guys to, once again, comment down below of what you would like to pick from or pick if you would be able to win. I don't know how many winners I'm gonna do. I'm thinking, at first I was gonna do only one, but maybe I'll do like three or something like that because it's been a really long time since I've done a giveaway. I know I've been like hyping you guys up for a while. I keep like posting stuff, but it's just hard because I don't know what you guys want. I don't wanna give you guys something and be like, wow, I'm not gonna use that. So I really want you guys to see what I have and then pick from it because a lot of you might be oily so you might not want cream. So I don't wanna give you one and then you not use it and then it'll just be like, I sitting on the shelf like it was for me I want you guys to love these products and use these products so I want you guys to pick them so yeah it'll probably be like three winners or something like that comment down below everything that you would love to win it doesn't have to be just one or two items it can be like five all of them whatever I don't think I'm gonna give you all of them but you never know so yeah I hope you liked today's video I hope you have a gorgeous day wherever you are and stay safe and I'll see you on my next one Bye.